most embarrassing thing that my mother ever caught me doing. Oh, what a way to start. Wow. I don't know if I want to say it. My mum caught me and my sister um, shooting the neighbor's cat when we was living in um, Camberwell. So we, we found an air gun that some old tenants had left. And me and my sister basically was using this air gun on everybody. And we was shooting the neighbor's cat and my mum caught us doing that because the neighbor was complaining that her cat was, was being bullied and she didn't know what was going on. Cool. I'm gonna just set the scenario. You're in high school, right? And school ends at 2.30. Your mom gets off at work at six. So you got that little span of time, you know, to maybe invite a friend over, you know, a young lady, and, you know, have some company until your mother gets home. So you think you, you have a time, right? You know, 2.30, bro, she get home at six, I'm good. I, I can do it, six o'clock. But then, I don't know, she decides to come come home early one day, 4.30, 3 o'clock. And you like, oh, and you walk in. And you know, you already got everything set up before you left the house, so you walk in like, yeah. And your mom was kind of like, hey, I'm like, ah. It's happened a couple times. Um, playing with my Barbie dolls and making them hump each other in a sexual position that I was not supposed to know about. And uh, <laughs> she caught me and I think that's when we had our sex talk. She caught me uh, with a young lady down in the basement once back when I was in high school. That was quite embarrassing. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing my mom's ever caught me doing? To be honest, um, I'm so free around her that I just don't get, she doesn't catch me doing anything embarrassing. More time. I'd say I embarrass her, so yeah, that's that on that. Another thing she caught me doing was she caught me swearing on the bus. And she was actually on the bus, but I didn't recognise her. And um, what she did, she didn't say anything, she just kind of turned her head with her headscarf so me and my sister could see that it was her. Came home, beat the beat the living dead out of me, but you know, we got a love it. Mom's consistent. The most embarrassing thing my mother ever saw me do it was actually my father who saw me do it first. What happened was I was standing in front of the mirror in my underwear. And I didn't know anybody was watching. And I just pretended like I was like Elvis or somebody and had like a little air guitar. And I was like, come on, let me show you some love. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. And I did like a pump. And I looked to the side and my father was there. And he just died laughing when he saw that. He was like, come here. Come here. Come show your mother what you're in front of the mirror doing. And I was like, ah. Come on, let me show you some love. Come on, baby. Uh, uh. I was like, dang. What subject causes the biggest problem between me and my mom? We really don't argue like that anymore. I don't. Yeah, we really don't argue. But I remember in high school, we used to argue. Because we used to be, you know, like little things like, did you take the garbage out? You know, no, I take it out tomorrow. Like, no, I told you to take it out today. My mother has a habit of coming to talk to me at like five o'clock in the morning, uh, just about whatever she's thinking about, whatever's going on in her life, you know, and at five o'clock in the morning, I'm like sleep and, you know, hitting the snooze button, whatever, until that last minute, trying to get that last bit of REM sleep. And every so often, I just can't take it anymore. I'm just like, mom, do we have to discuss this at five o'clock in the morning? There really are no arguments between me and my mother because, you know, I don't argue with her. If she says something, I just take it for what it's worth and I try to use it if I can. But, I mean, I don't argue or raise my voice or, you know, we don't go back and forth like that. So there, there are no arguments. What subjects cause the biggest arguments? Probably the way I dress. Not so much the way I dress, but wear my trousers, how low I wear my trousers, that's just, it's a wrap. It's always a wrap. Every day, all day, every day, when I'm going out, if I'm with her. Trousers! Um, probably nothing, because I learned a while ago that you can't argue with my mother. Um, because she's still pretty good at throwing heavy objects. I remember this one fight was crazy. She got really mad at me because I, I got my bike stolen at McDonald's. I went to McDonald's one summer with a friend of mine. And my bike got stolen when I was while I was in the bathroom. And she went crazy. Cause it was like my third bike that got stolen. But that's like the biggest argument we've ever gotten. If there's anything, uh, it's probably about ignorant family members um, and her opinion about how I spend my finances that I make. But she sometimes thinks that I spend them carelessly. 
it's probably to do with my personal life or probably to do with um, my um, the fact that I've not given her a child yet or the fact that I'm not married or the fact that I'm, I, I up until a certain point couldn't bring girlfriends around her because my mum was a terrorist and um, she don't like the fact that she, I don't trust her as far as introducing women to her but we've got better about that now so um, that's one of the things that we've we kind of sorted out. Does my mother's opinion matter when it comes to who I date? Wow, that's a good question. Oh my goodness, my mum, my mum can kill a relationship. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it does, and sometimes, most of the time, no. I'm not gonna lie because she makes it very hard for for anybody that I date. She has very high standards, higher than mine. It's, it's really crazy because yeah, I don't really, I don't really introduce or bring any girls around her unless I think like they're really really ready and that's rare I think because she's she's mom you know um there's been relationships that I've been in that my mom said something bad and I'm just kind of like oh god uh oh uh oh shit uh okay uh um I guess my mother's opinion does matter to a certain extent on who I'm with obviously I'd love for them to get along and be lovely and jubbly and fantastical happy families it's ideal isn't it really it's not cool to say it but I'm, I'm definitely a mother's boy in regards to I'm closest to my mum my stepdad um, we have issues and um, my biological dad never he never presented himself so I'm aware that he exists in the UK but I've never met him so I'm a mother's boy so I'm, I'm kind of um, when it comes to her it's like it's me and her and the world so obviously me her and my sister and, and my brothers and sisters and um, when she doesn't like somebody it's gonna be hard for me to stay with that person her opinion doesn't matter like a hundred percent in terms of who I date um, so in terms of how, how much her opinion matters there it's, it's not much I mean my mother is not an easy person to please and she's not really big on strangers anyway so you'd have to be really incredible to knock her socks off you know so if it mattered uh, her opinion mattered on who I dated then I probably would have never dated anyone you know um, she tends to like people after the fact it does matter but then it doesn't matter at the same time because I'm not really overly concerned about it and she knows that if I'm bringing a lady home to meet her she knows that you know that she must be special to me so she'll usually you know be real cool and calm and be like oh you know and say oh they're just like your mother even if they're not what's that now? um she's pretty much been on point in terms of who would last and who would make it through the trenches um but uh it's funny because a lot of guys that I have dated in the past have always been comfortable with talking to my mom as well about our relationship, which I thought was pretty uncommon. But, you know, my mom is badass like that where you can pretty much talk to her about anything. So, um, yeah, at some point if I really think it's going somewhere, I'll definitely sit her down and uh, ask her what she thinks about do, yay or nay. And uh, she's really honest when it comes to the men that I date. She pretty much knows what I like and what I don't like. So. I definitely value her opinion. Um, so yeah, I wish she would have a prediction about Andre 3000. Just, just saying.